Um, my first hasten is about with technology that is being used really in Taiwan to with concern with the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, almost every country has tried to use some kind of technology to help its citizens help and contain the virus. This is a real form of contact tracing where with different individuals details that you come in contact with, they will be recorded in, and so they can be notified if you have been affected by a virus or this can be in the form of location tracking. This focuses more on the individual location itself instead of the people that they come into contact with. Taiwan is a country that was expected to be one of the areas that were worst hit by the COVID-19 virus. However, they fared well in these times. With a total of only 467 confirmed cases and seven deaths, so how did Taiwan manage to accomplish this? Factors could include that Taiwan acted fast within only a couple of days after the virus was initially announced. Or that the Taiwanese citizens tend to be more acceptable to wear face masks when they are sick. So of course, at the first signs of a virus, the citizens will start wearing masks and help stop the spread between people. When it comes to the technologies that were implemented to help with COVID-19 pandemic within Taiwan, the technologies focus more on location tracking to help enforce quarantines of those that either had uh, symptoms of a virus or visited areas that had a high amount of infections. The best way to explain how this system will work is to explain from start to finish the process that a general person would go through when interacting with this technology. The first stage is how people get entered into the system itself. Uh, for foreigners that arrive from overseas, they need to fill, fill out an online form that they can access from a link or a QR code when they're going through customs. And this form, the they will put in where, where they come from, what countries they've been in, and information and stuff like that. And the system will, can check how likely they would be to have a COVID-19 virus based on the areas that they have been to. Residents of Taiwan already have a lot of their details implemented inside the Taiwan's National Health Insurance. They can go through a similar process if they have flown in from overseas, but a lot of the details would already be in there to my understanding. And similarly to for residents or other people that are currently in Taiwan and they have go to a doctor's and get tested, if their results become back positive, they, they can also, would also be entered into the system with the Taiwan National Health Insurance administration as well. Once individuals are entered into a system, they are allowed to either use their own personal mobile phone locations to be tracked, or they, if they do not consent to that, they are able to be provided with a government phone which has limited functionality, as said, being able to phone call, message and use the line instant messaging application, you see the main messaging application usually in Taiwan. So individuals will then will be required to either quarantine within their own residence or in a hospital, depending on how high risk they are. Once the individuals are within a place that they are meant to be quarantined in, this is where the technology location tracking technology itself it will be utilize. They use a digital fence around the property using the location of the mobile phone to keep track of where they where the individuals are. This tracking technology uses cell ID positioning to return, determine the location of a mobile phone. Cell ID uses a base tower and the single strength of a mobile phone. With only one cell tower, we can get an approximate location of how far away it is 
but we can't really tell the direction that it, that it is in. However, within Taiwan, the five major te telecommunication companies work, work together to help solve this problem. We have five different technology towers, base towers. They are able to try triangulate the resistance of the different mobile phone locations with more accuracy. While the individuals are within quarantine, every day they are required to provide their bod body temperature and any symptoms that they may have throughout the day. This information can be provided through a call center if a person wants or they are able to provide it through a chat bot within the line instant messaging application. If an individual were to leave with digital fence around their property when they are mentally in quarantine, the local authorities would be notified of this individual and their location for them to check in on them. Another location-based technology that has been created within Taiwan is an open source application on GitHub called Ask Face Maps. Uh, the Chinese name is then called Yao. Well, the basic premise of this application is the user to look up the pharmacy location near them and check if there's any face masks in stock or not. This helps prevent people from being out visiting every single shop until they find one that has some face masks in stock, limiting the risk of the spread of the COVID-19 virus. This is done with the use of two different interfaces. The first is a list that with all the different pharmacies within the area that users are able to search by name. The second is a map with a bunch of pin on a different location that they are within their area. When a user clicks on either one of the pins or the item in the list, a notification will appear displaying what information about said pharmacy. For example, this, this one says that they have zero adult face masks and 68 children face masks from the time that the data was last updated. The data that is supplied for use within this app is provided by Taiwan's Health Insurance Information Opening Service. This data set that they provide is, update, is said to be updated within Every 90, se 90 seconds. What is next for this type of technology? One of the possible pathways is to create a portal that has all the different technologies that are, will be available to the citizens to use to increase the ease of use for users. Thank you for, for listening to my presentation.